Chào mọi người. It's a sunny Sunday here in Saigon, District 6, Ho Chi Minh City. And feeling a little hungry. It's about 9.30 a.m. so time to get some breakfast. Let's see what we can find. So we got a bonnet and bain sale. Give them a drink. Ciao, team. Lấy một ly nước mía. Có đồ ăn gì? Chào, chào cô. Có bonnet không? Ok. Bánh nước ở đây. Alright. So we got a menu here. She's cooking up some bonnet, huh? Bonnet. So bonnet is actually the first meal I ever had in Vietnam. When I got here in 2017, first thing I ever ate. So let's have some of it. So I lấy một bonnet, bonnet mốt, không phải thế. Bonnet mốt, không phải thế. Yeah, đúng rồi. Okay, so we got the bonnet number one with no no pate. I don't I don't like the pate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we got the uh, the bone number one. Comes with one egg, beef, pate. We got no pate on that. I assume it's gonna come. Yeah, come on, Jane. So we got our nook mia, and that is sugarcane juice. So that's a pretty delicious drink to start the day. Very delicious. I'll tell you the story about my first Bonnet experience. I came to Vietnam in late May of 2017, so that was almost six years ago now. I was walking down the street in Galbap District. It's kind of near District 12. I didn't really know what to eat. I'd never been to Vietnam before. But I saw this dish. I saw Bonnet, and I saw the, the steak sizzling with the eggs here. And I thought, that looks pretty good. So I said, all right, I'll try that. So uh, the first meal I had, I liked it a lot. And I thought, okay, I think I'm gonna like the food here. So what is Nukmia? Nukmia is sugarcane juice. You can see over here, there are the sugarcanes and she feeds them right through that machine. And they come out, clean kind of traps the juice, sucks the juice out of it. First things first, we got a bun mein. Basically just a piece of bread, a baguette. It's light and fluffy, so. Where a baguette in America might be very kind of stiff and thick, this bun mein is very airy, very fluffy. There you go. You can see that it's it's not very dense. And that's just the way that the dough is, is prepared. Okay, now la la bone and la bone ku in. Okay, okay. So this one's that's my my bone. Okay, so she's had a a restaurant here for four years. Yeah, that looks good. Got the onions sizzling on that, a little bit of butter, the beef. You can see the other ones have pate on them. So that's the difference. I didn't get the pate. And then she'll throw an egg in there as well. So most or two. So the menu is pretty much totally in Vietnamese. So you need to know ba is beef. Bonnet is the dish that we're having here. Opla is an egg. So this one does not have beef. But these three with the ne all have beef. Uh, this one is just beef with nothing else. And then you have some beef steak here. I guess that's maybe a, a better cut of beef. And I'm sure that they all come on like a sizzling platter. Here you have some add-ons, some uh, mon goi pin. So you can add an egg, you can add cheese, you can add bread, you can add a sausage. Oh, okay. Look at that, sizzling hot. Looks delicious. Be careful not to touch the cow. The cow's hot. Chili sauce, tung ut, soy sauce. I forgot how to say soy sauce. How do you say soy sauce? Is it nook tung? I forgot. Koi, 
cái này uh, tên gì tên gì à nước thương nước thương ok nước, nước thương nước thương so soy sauce nước thương salad salad try this out so I have my own patented method so this is your first time trying bone let me show you how it's done first grab your bun mi hollow it out okay now you got a nice cavity in there all right then put your bone in there got my ball my my ball got my ball get a little bit of a little bit of everything in here so you get a little bit of beef get a little bit of the onion get a little bit of the egg put it all in there egg runny yolk that goes in onion that goes in chili sauce that goes in cucumber that goes in so now I kind of made myself like a bun mi bun mi bonnet really good it's really hot nice and fresh obviously she's made it right in front of our eyes the beef is tender the egg is cooked nicely where the yolk is nice and runny oh the layers of goodness egg beef veggies chili sauce it's packed with flavor flavor to the max I'm gonna throw a little milk thong in here. Satisfy my salt cravings. I've been eating this meal in Vietnam since day one. The same way, where I hollowed out the bun mi, I filled it up with all the goodness, and I ate it like a sandwich. That's how I've always eaten bon ăn. I don't really see anyone else ever do that. So I guess it is kind of a patented idea for me. What most people will do is take a piece of bun mi, dip it in here, and eat it. Have a bite of your beef. That's good too. There's no wrong way to eat it. But you guys are looking for a dank rank, so I gotta give you guys my score on this food here. I'll make myself a little signature wrap that I like to make. A little onion, a little beef, a little egg in there, even a little cucumber. Sauce del soy. <laughs> I don't know if that's Spanish for soy sauce, but maybe it is. Alright. One through ten dank rank, let's see. It's good. You come out here to the outskirts, really the periphery of the city. This is District 6. It's on the southern edge of Ho Chi Minh City. When you get towards the outside of the city, People are a lot nicer, uh, just more down to earth, more excited to, to meet new people and just be friendly overall. That adds to the overall experience of just being in this neighborhood. I really like it out here. I like it here, I like it in District 11, District 8, District 6. I even like it out in Galba, District 12, but I almost especially like it here in the southern part. The overall dank break on this bun mi, well, on this bonnet, I shouldn't call it a bun mi, it is bonnet. 8.1, that's a strong score. It's a really good meal. It's bringing me feelings of nostalgia. I love how it's cooked out in the open air. She's got 
three or four of them going at a time, sizzling on the hot, the hot cow, which we can touch now, it's not too hot. But it does keep the meal warm the whole time. It's sort of like eating fajitas at a Mexican restaurant. When they come on that sizzling platter and everyone's like, what's that? That's fajitas, bad boy, that's fajitas. But this time it ain't fajitas, it's bone. So definitely come here. This place is in District 6. It is called Ball City, Beef City. Hey, Tom, Ball City. Ba Hai Chin, Nguyen Van Lung, Phuong Mui Hai, Nguyen Sao. So 329, Nguyen Van Lung, Ward 12, District 6, Ho Chi Minh City. I'll put the exact location in the description for you. But you'll definitely enjoy your meal here. And we all finished. Tomroy, Naroy. Finished. Full. See, she's serving them up. Boom, boom, boom. Back to back. Go away. Tin Tang. Okay. 35,000 Vietnam down. Got a 50,000 Vietnam Dom note with Ho Chi Minh on the front. And, I don't know. Help me out with that. What is that on the back? It's not the Temple of Literature. Is it the uh, Imperial Palace in Hue? I don't know. Help me out. What's on the back of the 50,000 note? Yeah, come on, go. Go Ten Yeh. Go Ten Le Yeh. Jung. Nice to meet you, Jung. Jung called Doang, right now. You have very delicious food, Jung. Got our change. We got our stuff. We got our nook nia. Got our sunglasses. So we looked at Chai. Oh, wear that. Okay. Yeah, come on, right now, go. Bye bye. Bye bye, Chi. Uh, can I have a banyu? Mwing yan. Okay, so 10,000 for the nook mia, and then another 40 cents for the nook mia. So, anyways, guys, that's breakfast in District 6. So, if you find yourself in this neighborhood, come here to Bone Mikai. Okay. Or Ba City. Hey, Thong Ba City. And you'll get yourself a good breakfast, get yourself some good bone, some good nook meat, and you'll be feeling all right. All right, guys, that's going to be the vlog for today, but thanks for watching. Feel free to leave any comments you have. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. If you like the video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel to help the growth, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.